Okay, so here's a solution for this uh, coat hanger task um, that uh, I've set for you. Hopefully you've managed to follow my instructions to do the paper clip and you've had a good go at this first before resorting to the cheats way of looking at the answer. Um, it's a bit more difficult and there's a few little um, little sneaky ways of doing it that's a lot easier, which you, you may not have, have noticed. Anyway, um, so we've got this um, wiggly shape and we remember we've got a profile that is not the normal um, circular or square sort of profile that we have used so far. Uh, normally I would say start with the profile. These ones are always a simple shape. Start with your profile, you know you're going straight through your, your, your middle. This one I'm going to do that one at the end because it's easier to, to work this out first. So I'm going to start at this point here. I'm going to start up here and I'm going to draw that arc and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to create the rest of it. So if I go to part the studio here, let's go to the front and draw a sketch. So first off, um, we want to have an arc going up on here that's got a centre here. So let's use a centre point arc. So in the middle, make sure you snap to the middle and I'm going to come somewhere around here. I'm going to go down. I know it needs to stop there, so I'm going to snap there, save myself having to do that later and it's got a radius of 30. Now that's angle there, it's got to be 30 degrees, so I'm going to put a construction line in. So I'm going to draw a line, but I want it to be one of these, so it's not seen by the uh, sweep command. So I need that one there, and then I can use my dimension tools to put an angle of 30 degrees in. Right, next, I need a line coming down here, it's 30. Make sure you've unchecked the construction line, because we want this one to be a real line. That's coming down 30, and then I want another arc coming off here, so I need a tangent arc. So back to the tangent arc tool, and I want it to be coming off somewhere like that. Now, all the radiuses, are, or these are the top ones at least, are 30, so I'm going to make that equal. Rather than putting a size on it, make it equal. What that means is that if I um, changed this radius here, um, for some reason, that's going to change as well. So I've linked them together. I'll put that back to 30. So there's the top bit. Um, I need a line coming down at an angle here. And I want that to be tangent. So if I see I move until it snaps to there, there's little symbols coming up at the bottom of the screen. It's gone orange, the arc, so it's saying there's a relationship now. So I'm going to hit that and, and pop that there. I want another tangent arc off the end of there. And I want it to come around until, because it's going to be going flat, the line's going to be going along here. These two need to be directly above each other. That's got to be a vertical line. Um, and then, did that, did that work? Okay, um, now I need a horizontal line. Come across here. Something like that. And then another tangent arc. So I'm just roughing this out as, at the moment. Something like that. And then another line up here. I can remember this line here though. Again, it needs to be tangent and it needs to be 160. That's on the drawing. So there is a very rough shape. It's obviously not quite right. So there's a few things we've got to add on to it. Um, first thing, these, um, this arc here has got a radius of 25. This one is the same. So let's use that equals tool again and make that one equal to that one. Uh, next, the um, centre there is going to be 100 and my mouse is giving up 120 below, and it's going to be 200 out from that centre. 200. Okay, this one is the same across, so that's going to be 200. Now. Just check that that's got a, so that's it's not got my equals. I'll try the equal again. Look, equals that one and that one. That's better. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, there's no angle given on the drawing for this one. So, how do I know where that's got to go? There's no height or anything. But if it's the same as this one, then that point there is going to be horizontally uh, or horizontal from that one. They're going to be horizontally level, aren't they? Um, so I can choose my horizontal tool. That's a sneaky bit that saves you a lot of. And I've hit those two, and now it's now it's locked. So it's locked in position. 
So that is the path. Next, then, we are going to look at the profile. So if I scoot back to the task sheet, you'll see we've got this enlarged view. Now, the cutout bits are on the front and back. They're not on the top. They're on the front and back. It's basically a square that's 10 by 10, and it's got a 2.5 by 5. That would be 5 if there's 2.5 of either side. Cutouts to make an H shape. So I'm going to draw it here, which means that when I look at it, my eight, it will look like an H, won't it? So let's go up here. What we're going to do, we're going to draw it on this plane. And I want to make sure that it goes, the centre of my profile is, is meeting this line here. So I'm going to start my sketch. And the first thing I'm going to do is just project that point. And I know if I lock my shape around there, then it's going to go right through the middle of my... Um, the profile is going to go through the middle of the path. So, centre point rectangle for this one, I think, uh, 10 by 10. Um, now I need to cut these top bits and bottom bits out. So I'm going to use the centre one again, and I'm just going to be a bit sneaky. I'm going to pick up the middle of that line. So I click it there. My centre is already lined up with the middle. And if I click onto the edge there, look, it's locked at the top. So I make that 5 and that one 2.5. Um, and that is all locked in place. If I had done a corner rectangle look and I'd, and I'd done that and I said, OK, well, let's make that 5 and that 2.5. That's fine. But I've now got to add another size on. I've got to say, oh, I need to put it to be 2.5 from the edge, which again is fine. But if you do it the first way, um, then it saves you, a, saves you an extra step. So centre point, get, pick up the middle, come down here. And then put your size in. Okay, that looks about right, which means now when it's going through the middle, look, that line is coming right through my eight shape. So if I go to my sweep, pick up that profile, I pick up the path, look, it's going to go all the way around and create that, hopefully, hanger shape. Just like that. So quite a complex shape, quite a realistic kind of a shape. Um, but hopefully you can see how um, thinking logically about the, the, the layouts and making sure that the, all the parts are constrained, it's possible to, to make it. So I look forward to seeing your models coming, pinging through the, the ether.